So hi guys, welcome back to new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny, I'm a photographer and retoucher and I also teach a lot of stuff on YouTube. Now today I'm a guest speaker here on Andre's channel. Big thank you to Andre for letting me provide your subscribers so you are there with a new tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to work with this awesome plugin called Red Giant Software and we're going to do some awesome flare effects. If you guys are also interested a little bit more in my stuff, this is my complete uh, YouTube page here. I do show a lot of stuff about post-production tutorials revolving all around my photography, my retouching and I show a lot of Photoshop effects, retouching effects, uh, here light setups. I also covered a lot about beauty stuff and yeah, just in general, a lot of retouching things that I use for my images. Okay, so that's all about me. Let's get started with our tutorial. Okay, so first of all, I've imported three images right into Photoshop. As you guys can see, image number one over here, a guy sitting in the forest. And I used already a nice flare effect here in the background. Then also imported another shot of a car on top of a mountain, pretty nice sky over here. I didn't use any flares in this image or ended up using no flares, but I do want to show you guys how awesome it could look with another flare as well. And lastly, I also have an army shot here, composited that I did a few uh, months or years ago, I think a year ago, with just also a really nice bright background, and this could also look really cool with another flare. So showing you guys this as well. All right, so let's get started with our first image over here. Let's also quickly just go to Safari. I just want to show you guys, you can also get this at redgiant.com products, all and under Knoll Light Factory. So over here, a pretty nice plugin also, it's 3.0, I'm still on 2.0, so I need to go and get that upgrade again. But guys, for 199 US dollars per year, this is a pretty awesome plugin at a very good price. You can also have a look, 30 day back or money back guarantee, and I guess you can also get a 30 day uh, demo version over here. Alright, so let's get started. So first of all, before I even go into the plugin now, this plugin will always work directly on your first layer. It will not create a second layer for you or render it out on the second layer. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so over here under my first layer, I'm going to make a duplicate quickly, drag it to the new layer icon here, and I'm just going to double tap on here and write flare. Okay, so I've got my flare layer now. So the next step that I will do is go back to filter and I'm going to go all the way down to Red Giant Knoll Light Factory. Okay, so the plugin has loaded and before we even start, I don't want to cover every little slider in here and talk about all the little things. You can play a lot with this plugin once you have it and try everything out. What I do want to cover is basically just talk here a bit about these flares, show you guys some effects. Then also down here you have loads of options to make it brighter, to zoom in, to make this flare look more random. You can scale it. In the center you have the whole preview uh, window where you can basically take this flare and move it around and what's now really really nice and really handy on the right hand side you have certain elements from this flare so as you guys can see now I've turned the disk and the poly spread on and immediately we got a disk here and we have also this poly spread in here so now I'm able first of all under elements of light to turn either the disk off the global off and just still have my poly spread or if I want to turn the global on and turn the poly spread off as I did here in my other image so over here you will just end out now with just the global effect but now guys this is even going another level further you can go down here in the corner here under element parameters and you can adjust everything that has to do just with your global so you can change the position the brightness the scale and so on but if you don't want to do anything with global you just wanted to do it on the disk have a look I turned the disk on now so immediately this changed again and I can now tweak this again and just change say the position of my disk ball or the brightness of it this is such a powerful tool okay so basically let's go back now and I'm just going to turn on the global and poly spread again and as you guys can see there we are back to the start so over here again poly spread now I moved obviously the disk ball it's a bit off now so let's go back to disk I'm just going to change to position just a little bit back and mostly I end out using not the disc at all or making this the disc very very small so such a small sun over there and basically as you guys can see now I've used this effect already on the right hand side here so I can move this as well again over here giving him a really nice another sunlight. 
So as you guys can also see, I'm just going to turn off everything quickly. This image was actually shot right at also sunset time and the sun was right behind him so he was actually covering the sun as you guys can also see he gets a really nice rim light around him but I actually do want to show that the sun is maybe somewhere over here and also giving a really nice flare into the shot like a sunset mood so I went into this plugin I've added just this flare and there we have it looks pretty cool so turning on the disk and global poly spread I'm going to leave that and okay, let's take our plugin now, move it or the flare, sorry, move it all the way over here. And I'm just going to make the brightness a little bit lower. So as you guys can see now over here, I can tweak my brightness again, make this a little bit smaller. And I could also move this over here and now even have a double effect of flare, but it still looks kind of decent. So I can also move it over here to this side, maybe somewhere where we have no trees. And that looks around cool. I could have now actually made the brightness a little bit bigger. So it could also be that this sun, there was a second sun that would come from here. But what I really love about this flare as well is that you have a really nice uh, spread over here. So the orange goes really good with your image. Have a look if I move it close to the person or if I even make the brightness a little bit bigger and just move this away a little bit. The orange spread of this flare or in general all the flare spreads here work pretty good. They go very decent and very subtly over your image. As well this is a very high quality flare so you can use it on all your images on your super high res images. They will always be rendered out pretty good. Okay, so enough about that. Let's also quickly just run through our presets here on the left hand side. First of all, you got your standard 45 and then also 85 normal flare effects that you get from Photoshop. And then in here you get now really creative flare effects again. So we can go all the way down, say also here basic lens again. I'm going to go a little bit further. Blue halo. So you can create really weird looking flares and also very, very creative images with this. Also have a look over here. Here again, a, I don't know why this is called Dancing Queen. Pretty nice. So in here again on the left hand side, loads of very high quality flare effects. I mostly work, if I go down here, it's, yeah, it's quite a lot of flares. Also down here, warm sun flare. I sometimes work with this, but just take out again the spike ball and also some of these uh, random fan here really random names as well so over here I don't really like these discs so that's pretty nice you can again take out all these different small elements but now also let me just quickly go back here again to my sunset effect so over here I do work a lot with this so I know this flare quite uh, well so over here under global again what's pretty nice I can also tune my colors so in here I could double tap on here and say I want the outer color to maybe have a pink color okay so everything turns pink already and the inner color should have maybe a dark red or something in that direction okay and they it didn't change too much more magenta in a way now but as you guys can see already we have a complete new flare here but it's still a very high quality flare and a very good one Okay, I'm going to say OK now and just import it as this completely weird flare now. So Knoll Light Factory is rendering that. Okay, so this has now been applied. As you guys can see over here, it also is just directly on our new layer. So that's why I also said just create a duplicate layer because it will always render directly on your next layer. But as you guys can see, there are no red marks on here or rings around this flare. This is the very or the best high quality flare filter that I know. So yeah, over here works pretty good. Let's quickly also just go to our car, do the same effect again. I'm just going to double tap on my new layer create a duplicate with command J and I'm also going to take this now to filter red giant software and knoll light factory so over here again now we have everything set back to our pink color but we can actually go back into global and change this again back to normal also if you restart Photoshop obviously these some of these uh, settings will be set back to the normal preset settings if you do want to save a certain flare that you've just created with a really nice color you would then obviously again load and save your presets over here on the left hand side okay but let's also quickly show you guys over here this plugin also is pretty nice again if I would take the disk now and also just scale the disk all the way down it could look like the Sun is sinking here or actually went down and you would have a really nice flare effect coming here from the sky or if you want to even like I used it in a previous 
method here I use the vortex bright I double click on here and you directly create your new flare over here I could move this around again or maybe use it here on my lights it's obviously a little bit strong so I could take the brightness maybe down if I want to again over here switch to my colors in the inner circle or the circle spread and again in these few options but just showing you guys again this is such a pretty nice uh, filter you can use loads of different um, flares here also a tunnel effect if you want to loads of them are very creative and you won't most probably end out using them but simple small flares like this vortex bright is pretty handy i would use this a little bit on the light maybe mask it out a little bit or take the brightness down and yeah like i said before again loads of different uh, flares in here let's also zap through some more that's again our sun flare effect obviously but over here also a really nice nice summer emergence and yeah again loads of different flares I don't want to run through all the flares now but obviously just showing you guys again loads of nice flares okay let's also hit uh, cancel over here so that's taken us out again if I go back to army shooting and to this army image over here again create a new layer quickly and just say filter and go back into Knoll Light Factory again. This is again, like I said before, we haven't saved this now, so it will be again on pink. So let's go to the poly spread. That's still normal. So the glow ball effect. Let's maybe just take that to a nice orangey color over here. Also a nice punchy bright one. We can actually tweak that a little bit more. So over here, okay. So you've got a new color now that is looking a little bit better and maybe the inner ring and also a very reddish color maybe over here darker red uh, not too nice so let's also try to be over there that looks better anyways if I can take this now and also move it behind the two guys again you will also see this could look like there's a bomb exploding in the back I can then again turn off the disc I can make this a little bit smaller and also obviously add more color to this again I think there's still a lot of color lacking so let's try a few more colors in here more orangey more yellowish color okay and the red should be a bit more pumping okay let's take this up a little bit more so over here just showing you guys again if you would hide this behind the composite this could look really really nice okay I'm gonna hit OK now and just overtake this obviously I had a composited so I would this do this light effect maybe behind them then also do again those two guys on top and have really nice a uh, flare behind them everything is kind of red in here would mask this out a little bit and yeah just adding another touch to your image where you can get really nice flares so that's all from me today guys just showing you guys the quick and easy here techniques on the flare plugin if you guys do like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up for Andre's new way of collaborating. And also let us know in the comments down below what you think of these YouTubing collaboratings, trying something new. Maybe if you want to talk about the technique as well, give us some feedback on that. And yes, obviously subscribe to Andre's channel. If you guys like me, head over to this, subscribe maybe. And yeah, maybe see you guys all next week on my channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.